We're in central Vancouver Island, British Columbia, Canada to explore Elk Falls, Elk River. It's supposed to be a beautiful waterfall here and a giant suspension bridge that's even bigger than the one in Capilano. The good news is this one is free. Nice leisurely little hike here to check out this suspension bridge and this waterfall. Supposedly there's some jumps here. Not sure if we're going to do them, but you know how that goes. When I usually say I'm not sure if I'm going to do them, then the next shot is me jumping off. Not sure exactly of the height, but I believe it's got to be at least 150 to 200 feet of that suspension bridge. But there's actually a better viewing platform for the waterfall off to the side, and there's another little viewing platform on the other side of the suspension bridge. In terms of free things to do here on Vancouver Island, pretty cool. So as we are making our way north, across Vancouver Island, keeping our eye out for bears, not only black bears, as this is one of the densest black bear areas in the world. Estimates range between 7,000 and 12,000 black bears on Vancouver Island alone, but also grizzly bears have made their way across the water from a nearby island and are now inhabiting northern Vancouver Island. So as we're hiking, we're keeping our eyes out for bears, probably not quite in grizzly territory yet but you never know they could just keep moving south so definitely black bears in the area and actually speaking of bears they are a super relevant topic given these these giant trees we're surrounded by right now in elk falls regional park because the bears actually contribute to the growth of these big trees and it's something i never would have thought of before but what happens is they feed on salmon fish berries and what they don't finish, they don't eat the entire fish, is left over and that becomes fertilizer for this topsoil. And that combined with the rich bear scat from eating all those fish and plants creates this super rich topsoil environment that allows these giant trees to grow. And what happens when we kill off the bears, that has a direct impact on the growth of these giant trees because the fertilizer source is no longer around. So another waterfall, little deer falls over here, some nice little pockets for swimming. Though I did read, there is a dam further upstream and I did read that you know, large increases in flow could happen at any moment. They do sound a siren though, in case they need to let out an emergency discharge of water. I don't know what would cause that, except maybe a large storm or something like that. That would be a pretty disturbing sound to be sitting here enjoying this tranquil waterside view, or if you were even in the water and all of a sudden you heard a like air raid siren, that would be super nerve wracking and probably hard to get out of the way if you're in the middle of this swimming. Infamous.